Hi everyone, this is Jennifer and I'm going to show you how I did my epoxy resin on a wood panel. So this is my black and white piece and right here I'm just mixing up the resin um, so I can get the colors mixed up. Um, and of course it's just going to be black and I'm going to do a pearl white um, and also a gray. Um, for this piece. Now, I originally did a swipe technique over the wood panel first and let that dry completely. And then I added my rocks. Um, so that's already been added to it as well. So now I'm just about to go in and actually do the resin color over the piece at this point. So I'm just steady mixing the resin. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and pour them into the cups for the black, the white, and the gray. Let's see, and then this part right here, um, we just I'm just pouring, and then after I mix the colors, I'm gonna actually go around the rocks one more time with um, clear resin, just so that no color seeps through the rocks. So sometimes that happens, and it's okay um, if if that's what you prefer. Um, I try to stop it <laughs> ahead of time, but sometimes it's, the color can still get through. So you just wanna secure it with the clear resin um, first. So I got a pearl white, I have my black mixed up, and now I'm doing the gray. And just kind of wiping up some of the, the resin that I spilled on the panel. <laughs> okay. I look like I needed to add some more um, color to the resin. So here I'm just going around the rocks again with just clear resin just to stop from any colors coming in. And then after that, I would go ahead and just start pouring my resin. Now, I kind of typically want to go according to the design. Um, even if I, I paint it and I don't like the full painting and there's certain parts of the painting I do like, I actually just... I'll leave that part alone where I would just cover it with clear. And then the other parts I will fill in with the actual color resin itself. So you will see some spots I will cover because I don't really typically, I didn't like how it might have turned out. But here I'm actually just going over it. I'll just go into areas I do like with the clear resin. And this painting was, um, for me, it's, it's a lot going on in this painting, but I really, really do like some of um, the actual paint that came out, how it came out on the panel, should I say. Now, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and get the heat gun out, and I'm going to actually start popping bubbles and also moving the resin around. Now, also with the heat gun, um, the colors will blend when you actually use the heat gun and you moving the resin around, which is okay for me. Um, I actually like the way it turns out. So, this is basically what I'm doing. I'm adding more resin too in some areas that didn't get fully covered as well. I'm just trying to make sure that all the areas is, is covered. Um, that's one of the biggest things. Um, but it also just depends too on how many times you go over it, how many coats of resin you use. So if you, if you miss a spot, it's okay if you're gonna coat your um, wood panel again. So that would be fine. Now I'm also adding more rocks at right here in this point, um, just to give it a little bit more, you know, height to it. Some areas fall flatter. Um, some areas I want, you know, want it to stand out more. Right here is the finished piece, and thank you for watching.